Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And in this one, I want to take a quick look at the new Silkbind moves. Of course, we have not seen all of them. We still have plenty more stuff to discover. But as of the most recent Sunbreak news drop, of course, the stream that happened the other day, they updated the website to state that there will be new Silkbind moves and attacks that have been added for each of the 14 weapons. They said you can utilize these abilities to further customize your own hunting playstyle. And of course, you know, we know Silkbind moves from Rise. They, of course, add a ton of cool ways to play. So the fact that Sunbreak is going to be expanding that roster is incredibly exciting. And the trailer they showed gave us three new ones to dissect. So let me know in the comments down below which ones you guys like the best. If you guys do enjoy this video, a like would be super appreciated. But to begin with, these are the ones that we have seen. They decided to spotlight the Gun Lance, the Bow Gun, and also the Dual Blades. For the Gun Lance, it seems like you can basically use your jets to effectively launch yourself up in the sky. I'm pretty sure that's a Gun Lance, not a regular Lance. I'm basing that on the fact that we effectively have steam coming out the back, so sort of like like how the gun lance can basically rocket boost itself. Either way, launching yourself up into the sky in a very similar movement pattern to how the insect glaive can pull itself directly down, only this one has a launch directly upwards first and then down, so it appears to have the ability to strike twice, which could be quite cool. I would imagine that has potentially some pretty high crit damage maybe on the head. For the Bogon, this one is quite interesting. Uh, this stage, of course, we don't have any details on this, so this is all purely speculation. We can, of course, see this circle that has appeared in front of where the hunter is shooting. Now, whether this acts as a shield to block incoming projectiles that allows you to sort of shoot through it but not receive shots, kind of like a sort of halo bubble shield, that sort of thing, or whether it is, say, like a damage boost whereby you deploy that and, of course, if you're shooting through it, you get some kind of, uh, you know, damage boost or whether you get, like, a different sort of debuff, something like that. It will be interesting to sort of see what that is. This is pure speculation at this point, but that, of course, is a brand new bowgun silk by move. And then, of course, we have one for the dual blades. Quick note here, I know some people have got pretty excited looking at the claws. Unfortunately, these are not Gormagala claws. They do look very similar, but you can, of course, see on the side that these actually come from Luna Garen. They have these sort of icicle spikes here. Unfortunately, we can still hard out hope for Gore. But anyway, that aside, we have this new move, which basically seems that you can, like, launch yourself into the sky, throw your silk bind towards the monster, and basically do, like, a sort of corkscrew drill move into the monster which looks incredible i would imagine that is fantastic at applying sort of states effects because of course it hits multiple times so that does look pretty sweet outside of that we didn't really get a look at any of the other weapons in terms of silk bomb moves just yet so i imagine that will come in future trailers of course now they've started the marketing train and now we have a launch date which of course is june 30th then i imagine they'll be dropping things semi-frequently on the run-up to launch so I'm very excited to sort of see what else they have. I definitely can't wait to see what they do with a sword and shield because, of course, you know your boy is a sword and shield fan. Anyway, that's a quick look at the Silkbind moves. If you guys have missed any of our Monster Hunter content recently, be sure to check out this video on the channel. And don't forget to stay tuned for more Sunbreak news. 